All right. Welcome back, everybody, to Altcoin Daily. Of course, you subscribe to this channel for our daily videos on everything going on in the cryptocurrency space today. A lot of exciting things to talk about in today's video. Before I get to this, I want to spend a few minutes talking about the shadow ban problem that's happening in it's happening to the bigger Bitcoin cryptocurrency YouTubers. So if you put the word Bitcoin in the title or description of any of your videos, doesn't apply to the past videos, but any videos in the past few days and going forward, it seems that these videos get shadow banned for a period of time. So we did an experiment yesterday. In yesterday's video, in this video right here, we did not use the word Bitcoin or anything related in the title or description. And guess what? That video performed normally as in it did not get shadow banned by YouTube. So this is 100% YouTube's algorithm picking up videos that mention the word Bitcoin. In this video, in the video you're watching right now, I'm sure you've noticed, I decided to put the word Bitcoin in the title again. I mean, it's just SEO. Our channel's about Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. It hurts us if we can't put Bitcoin and cryptocurrency in the title and description. So what this means is, because the word Bitcoin is in the title, probably in a couple hours after I've released this video, I expect this video to get shadow banned. YouTube will shadow ban this video for a period of 6 to 12 hours, at least in our experience. But when I say shadow banned, what YouTube is doing is, this video will not show up in your sub feed. This video will not be recommended to you, and it won't be recommended to anybody on YouTube. Even if you search the title of this video and the name of our channel, you will not be able to see this video because of the shadow ban. After about 12 hours, in our experience, the videos get put back to normal again, as in they're visible again. You can see them in your sub feed. They will be suggested. But as you can imagine, this kills all momentum. So I've been trying to email with YouTube premium support. They seem willing to help, but so far they have yet to acknowledge the actual shadow banning problem. In my opinion, this is just speculation, but in my opinion, we are collateral damage. My theory is that YouTube is trying to crack down on these live stream scams, and us and some of the bigger Bitcoin and crypto YouTube channels are getting caught in the crossfire. Unfortunately, and I'm sure you can understand, you know, as a content creator, this really hurts us. You know, we make videos so people can watch them. So YouTube shadow banning us, you know, really hurts morale, hurts our bottom line. Hopefully this gets worked out soon. Do me a favor, take two seconds, hit the like button, give this video a thumbs up. That's what I need you to do if you wanna support the channel. Liking the video, it's not gonna stop the shadow ban, but it will help us before and after the shadow ban. And hopefully our video can perform somewhere around normal if everybody likes the video. So I wanted to clue you in as to everything that's going on with our channel. But, you know, this is bigger than our channel. This is about Bitcoin and cryptocurrency in general. So anyways, that being said, let's get into some recent news. The Bitcoin whale population has been spotted increasing in the wild. Whales have been in solid accumulation mode since January of 2020. That means whales started accumulating at the beginning of the year and then all through 2020. This is macro bullish. So whales are entities that hold 1,000 Bitcoin or more. And you can see the data here. You can see how uh, wallets that are holding 1,000 Bitcoin or more have been increasing since January. Now, to go further, because it's not all about the whales, right? Bitcoin's supposed to be for everybody. To go further, we're seeing retail buying Bitcoin as well. So here an, we've been seeing this all year, but this is updated data. Addresses holding more than one Bitcoin reached a new all-time high again. So minnows are accumulating too. Well, I guess one Bitcoin wouldn't be minnows. And I guess uh, fish are accumulating as well. Anyways, at some point, people won't be able to accumulate one Bitcoin. I'm sure you realize that if Bitcoin is, has this future, people owning one whole Bitcoin is out of the question. People will just be able to stack Satoshis. I mean, owning one whole Bitcoin is out of a lot of people's reach already. But the data suggests that at this time, people are still accumulating and reaching the threshold of one whole Bitcoin. 
And that's also what Mike Novogratz is saying. Mike Novogratz, he's a very, he's been very vocal lately about how he's seeing hedge funds interested in buying Bitcoin. He says hedge funds are buying Bitcoin. And he says that, you know, retail people are buying Bitcoin as well. And of course, you know, Mike Novogratz, he is the poster boy for former Wall Street turned crypto. He was on CNBC again just yesterday talking about two things. He talked about how people are buying Bitcoin because Bitcoin is hard money. And he talked about his mustache. What are you doing, Mike, with your portfolio besides growing a mustache? You know, I grew the mustache. It's my Corona mustache. Uh, and I said I'm going to keep it until, uh, you know, the, the quarantine is over. My God, I think it might be Christmas at this point. <laughs> uh, I still have very bullish hard assets. I think there'll be a push to hard assets. There is a very decent chance, much higher than it was before, of some stagflationary or inflationary environment. And so I'm still on a lot of gold. I love Bitcoin. Uh, next Tuesday, we have the Bitcoin halving where the inflation rate gets cut in half. And so you talk about inflation and fiat currencies where the Fed is printing money like it's a, you know, a money printing machine. And in the Bitcoin space, you know, the money supply gets cut uh, 50%. And so big deal there. We're seeing lots of new investors in that space. Hedge funds that are buying it, not just as individual managers, but buying it in their fund. I think you'll see some announcements soon uh, of that or, you know, investor letters out. And so all positive stuff in terms of flow into that space. And so that's where the bulk of my risk is. Uh, it's been a fun environment in, in the Bitcoin space after... After a long desert, we now really have real activity. So yeah, Mike Novogratz also brought up the Bitcoin halving. Now us, Altcoin Daily, we will most likely be doing a live stream an hour or two going in to the halving. So going in to this clock hitting zero. We're going to be having a little halving live stream party. And really, I hope you guys understand the magnitude of the halving. In my opinion, that the halving is a thousand times more significant than any altcoin partnership. This is a celebration of Bitcoin's hard money policy and public hard money policy. And this is only the third halving to ever happen. You're gonna be able to tell people in the future, if you're so inclined, you're gonna be able to brag, I was around before the third halving, I stacked some Satoshis before the third halving. Think about it, hardly anybody was around for Bitcoin's first halving. A handful of people were around for Bitcoin's second halving. You know, we'd consider those guys like the OGs. In the future, you and I are going to be considered the OGs. It's going to be a point of pride that we stacked some Satoshis before this clock struck zero. So that's what I'm thinking. I'm going to leave a link in the description to probably this tweet or maybe a tweet like this where we tagged at Team YouTube and we're trying to nudge them to you know, clear up this Bitcoin content censorship. Um, so if you wanted to look in the description and just give the video a little like, a little poke, a little nudge. And that's it for me today, my friends. My name is Aaron at Altcoin Daily. By the way, guys, make sure you're following us on Twitter. You know, we've been updating everybody on Twitter about this Bitcoin censorship. Um, you know, as new information comes out, and you know, we also tweet and retweet cool stuff like this. Um, this is about the distribution of Bitcoin's hash rate, and it's just, you know, stuff that we're thinking about in real time, and a lot of people uh, a lot of people follow us. And, you know, you should be following the people. If you're, you know, in this cryptocurrency space because you want to stay in tune and stay educated and figure out, you know, what are the good projects, whether that's, you know, you know Bitcoin, I like to hear, like, what are the arguments for Bitcoin and against Bitcoin, or maybe altcoin projects, you should be following... Uh, you know, the teams on Twitter to see what they're about. Anyways, that is it for me, my friends. This is Aaron at Altcoin Daily. See you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.